Okay, we're going to talk about inappropriate shifts in pronoun, number, and person. This correlates to 0.9. So the game plan is we're going to go through this and kind of talk about what number, person, and pronouns all are. Uh, and hopefully with those, it'll be uh, actually relatively easy. I think this one, once you understand it, is, is relatively easy. So a pronoun versus a noun. Just a very quick review. If I say John goes to the store, uh, I can replace John with a pronoun. Right? And you wouldn't replace it with something like this. In other words, you gotta make sure that the pronoun you're using matches the noun it's replacing, right? He matches John, they does not. Now why doesn't they match it? Well, if we break it down, we need the pronoun to match in number and person. Number means it's either singular or plural. Okay, so he, now well, that's one. A singular thing. There's only one person there. They is obviously more than one. So you have to make sure that the pronoun you're using matches uh, the number. You know, if there's only one person, for example, you got to make sure that the pronoun is a one person uh, pronoun, a singular pronoun. Uh, and then person. So we have first person, second person, and third person. First person, uh, you think of number one, me, I. Second person is you, and third person is anything else. So it, he, she, the cat, um, she the cat. Any of those things are third person. Um, and those are all, by the way, singular. You can also have each of these things as plural. So it would be uh, those, potentially. He would be they. Uh, a lot of she's would be, you know, you could do they or them. Uh, cats, right? First person plural. There's not more than one of me, but if I'm with other people, then we use we. That's first person plural. In English, it's kind of interesting. We don't have a second person plural, which can be kind of troubling. Um, I remember I used to be a waiter, and I would greet people at their table, and I would say, how are you? You know, there's no way to say all of you people. So we just replaced that in uh, America, typically with you guys. Uh, down south, they do you all, y'all. So we don't really have one actually in English, second person plural. Uh, so we replace it with something like you guys. Same thing is true in Spanish, by the way, in Mexico, they don't have uh, a second person plural. In Spain, they do. Anyway, all right, so uh, where are we going with this? We wanted to learn what a pronoun was. It's just a way to replace a noun. Number, are we talking about singular or plural? And then person, are we talking about first, second, or third? And you gotta make sure it matches. So let's utilize that for this example. Whenever you consult with a patient, you should give, or excuse me, you should strive to make them feel respected. So them is the pronoun in question. And what is them replacing? Well, them is replacing a patient. Now is a patient, let's do number first, Singular or plural? Well, that's one. What's them? Well, them is plural, right? This might be easier if I do this. So it can't that can't work. So we have to replace this with a singular. And there's all sorts of ways to do this. You could say he, but then that's kind of sexist, right? You don't know if the patient is a girl. So we could do she. That's also kind of sexist. We don't know if it's a boy. So some people do this. 
some people do this. Uh, for the sake of this uh, activity, let's do that. Uh, although I guess that doesn't make sense for the sentence. You should strive to make uh, him or her, right? It is recommended that marathon runners start training early so that you, okay, you, what is you replacing? Marathon runners. Okay. It's recommended that marathon runners start training early so that well, they, because it's not second person, this is third person, and it's plural. Whenever an applicant submits a request online, we try to send them. An applicant is singular, third person. This is plural, third person. So we need to make this singular. An applicant is a he or she or him or her. We try to send him or her. I wonder if it would work if I did. Do it that way. Competitive swimmers must wear goggles to protect your eyes. Okay, your is replacing competitive swimmers. This is a possessive, their eyes. Right, competitors, competitive swimmers have their eyes protected. In ice hockey, the goalie wears headgear and pads that protect them. The goalie is a singular. Right? It's, it's just one. So we can't use words like them or they or those. The goalie wears headgear and pads that protect her or him. Him or her or whatever. According to Dr. Stanley, when patients don't take their medications as prescribed, you risk. Okay, well. We're talking about patients here. So that's singular and that's second person. We need to make this third person and we need to make it singular, excuse me, plural. A flea uses an elastic protein known as Resilin to jump up to a hundred times their own. A flea, there is plural. So what's the singular for that? Uh, let's do a simpler sentence to see this. A dog wags their tail. What would you replace there with? You do its. Uh, but this is the really frequently screwed up its. Is it like that? Or is it like that? You think, well, it's possessive, so we need that, but that's not true. It's actually like that. This means it is. It falls in the same category as yours. You wouldn't do that. Even though there's an S at the end and it's possessive. So it's spelled like that. All right, although drivers should always be aware of their surroundings, you should, they should, right? Drivers is a they. As part of their courtship ritual, male bowerbirds use sticks, rocks, flower petals, pieces of trash, and other objects collected from its surrounding. So bowerbirds collect stuff from... Well, it's plural. So we'll go backwards. We just did its... Plural is there. When visitors explore the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum in Boston, visitors can see. You can see? No, that doesn't make sense. Third person plural. They can see. 
In 2013, a Florida restaurant caused a furor after adding an unusual choice to... Mm, a restaurant is singular. There's plural. Lion meat tacos. My goodness. A presidential candidate must be a natural-born citizen of the United States in order to run for office. You. That's second person, right? But a president is down here. It's a third person. So we got to do they or the, but, ah, but that's singular. We got to do that. Or that. The winner of the raffle will have his or her pick of the available prices, Mr. Garner announced. And now, uh, otherwise submit the text without making any changes. So. To be successful, a professional photographer should have a high quality camera and he or she, good, singular, must have a good eye for interesting angles. At the Wild Grove Town Hall meeting, mayoral candidates will be interviewed by a panel of community leaders. They will then present different urban renewal plans to a gathered crowd. Yeah, candidates, they, they're both third person plural. At the annual Grammy Awards ceremony, award recipients receive stunt trophies that are reused every year. The actual trophy is engraved with your names. Okay, well. Award recipients is third person, plural. So we're going to do that. A lot of possessive questions. Following the string of nuclear disasters caused by the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami, the Japanese government closed many of its nuclear facilities and resolved to find safer. So the government closed its. That's good. All right. Training a service dog is an extremely rewarding experience, but it's also very time consuming. Aspiring trainers must be willing to commit between. Okay, trainers must commit your free time. Well, trainers commit their free time. Change to second person for no reason. When scientists reviewed two decades worth of soil studies, she found. You know, Hoping that you guys just hear that and, and know immediately that that's wrong. Scientists would be replaced with they. Challenge zone. In the early 1940s, psychologists blah, 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 developed a system that correlated people's body types with. Okay, these are people, and they have personality traits, so they are their personality traits. We all know that mermaids aren't real, but Jamal's younger brother still believes in, well, mermaids. You gotta do for number and person. It's third person, but this is plural, and it is singular. We gotta change it to the correct plural form. In a free skating program, a figure skater performs an arrangement of jumps and spins. The judges score. Ooh, it'd be easy to do that, but that would be incorrect. A figure skater. Singular. You gotta score her or score him. Okay. All right, we'll end there. So to recap, um, a lot of these sound kind of common sense. Uh, a lot of them you'll just catch because they just don't sound right. But some of them can be difficult, and the most common one is the one with them. Um, when a person is tired, they should go to sleep. Um, it's not right. They is plural, a person singular. So you have to replace it. Okay. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, if there are any questions, email me. And otherwise, I will see you in class soon. Thanks.